Hello and welcome back to the daily update from the Wayne County Sheriff's Office. I'm Captain Doug Hunter coming to you today on March the 30th, 2016. Some good work by an off-duty Worcester officer today resulting in a lockdown at the Keene Elementary School. It seemed that the officer was there uh, picking up some items when he observed a man wandering off into the woods nearby. The officer followed to investigate, after which time the man fired several rounds from the handgun into the ground from no, for no apparent reason. Now, officers quickly took the man into custody, but learned that the piece of property involved was actually outside the city limits of Worcester, and deputies became involved in the case as a result. Uh, the deputies took the man into custody for a violation called having firearms while under disability. Now, what is that? Think, this is a legal dis disability. In fact, this man is convicted of felony drug possession. So you have a convicted uh, felony offender in possession of a 32 caliber revolver uh, wandering around on somebody else's property. So good job by all involved. Now, those of you that are constantly calling for more handgun or gun control, please take note that all of the rules that are currently in effect apply to this man. He was not permitted by federal law or state law to possess any type of firearm, yet he was doing so. And again, trespassing on somebody else's property, firing this uh, handgun, again, for no apparent reason. So he's now locked up in the Wayne County Jail, and I'll keep you posted as this case unfolds in our local court system. Overnight, deputies placed an 18-year-old female under arrest for driving under the influence. Uh, you see, there was some erratic driving spotted by Deputy Little from our office and he stopped the young lady and found that she appeared to be impaired not only by alcohol but also some marijuana that was uh, in the vehicle and the odor of which was very strong coming out of the windows of the vehicle. So uh, she was arrested, transported, given a breath test, tested well over the legal limit for alcohol and booked on a charge of driving under the influence. Deputies are continuing to investigate a number of other cases today and uh, we'll be reporting on those in the near future. So until next time, please stay safe.